Hello. I'm dedicating this book to my nephew, Adam, who requested me to read some snake books. So this one's called Amazing Snakes. It's hard for Aunt Debbie to read this because I don't like snakes so much. Here's the title page, Amazing Snakes. Can you guess what kind of snake that one is? Snakes don't have arms or legs. They don't have wings or fins, but some snakes can climb trees or swim in water. Others can dig underground. Some even jump off branches. They flatten their bodies so they fall slowly and land safely. <clears throat> there are more than 2,000 different kinds of snakes. Some are shorter than a pencil. Some are almost as long as a school bus. All snakes hunt prey to eat. Some, rat, some hunt rats or mice or fish. Many, other, many eat other snakes. A few even hunt crocodiles or catch birds or bats in the air. I wonder how they could eat a crocodile. Snakes look for their prey. They do not have eyelids. A clear scale covers each eye. Snakes never blink. Snakes smell their prey with their noses. They also stick out their tongues to pick up the smell of prey. Some snakes can feel heat from another animal's body. This helps them find their prey in the dark. Some snakes like boas and pythons kill their prey by squeezing. These snakes are called constrictors. A constrictor wraps its long body tightly around its prey until the prey stops breathing. You might have heard of a boa constrictor. <clears throat> Some snakes, like vipers and cobras, kill with venom. These snakes have sharp fangs, and when they bite, venom flows from the fangs into the prey's body. Snakes with venom can kill animals much larger than they are. Some can even kill people. We want to make sure we protect ourselves. <clears throat> A snake's long pointed teeth can catch prey, but it can't chew it. Snakes must swallow prey whole. A snake can open its mouth so wide that it can swallow something bigger than its head. If your mouth and body were built like a snake's, you could swallow a watermelon. Some baby snakes hatch out of eggs. Others are born live. Some snakes can give birth to a hundred babies at once. Young snakes do not need parents to take care of them. They survive on their own, hunting small prey like worms, insects, and lizards. Since they're small, they have to look for tinier food. A snake gets bigger every year. After a while, its skin gets too small and wears out, just like your clothes do. Then the snake must shed its skin. First, it rubs on a tree or a rock until its skin gets loose. It wiggles out of the old skin. A new skin has grown underneath. You might have seen a snake skin before. Some snakes have skin the color of grass or sand or dirt. Others have patterns that look like leaves. These colors and patterns help snake hide from animals who hunt them. Kind of like camouflage for snakes, isn't it? A rattlesnake can hide in sand or leaves, but if something gets too close, the rattlesnake shakes its tail. Rings of thick skin on the end of the tail rattle together loudly. The sound tells everyone a deadly snake is near. Snakes can live in trees or in oceans or underground. You can find them in jungles or deserts or your own backyard. But you're not likely to find a snake in the snow. Snakes hibernate in the winter. They go underground where they will not freeze. The snakes do not eat or move. They wait for spring. Do you know some other animals that hibernate in the winter? <clears throat> snakes can live almost anywhere, but it is hard for them to live near people. Houses and buildings take up the land where snakes live. Many snakes are hit by cars. And people often kill snakes because they are afraid of them. They don't know how important snakes are to our world. 
Snakes hunt animals like rats that can spread sickness. Many other animals like hawks and raccoons eat snakes. Without snakes, these animals could not live. Snake venom can be used in medicine and may even help cure cancer. Scientists go into jungles and forests to count snakes and study them. Sometimes they put a tiny radio under a snake's skin. Then they set the snake free. The radio sends out signals that scientists use to follow the snake. They learn what the snake eats, how it hunts, where it sleeps, and what it needs to survive. Snakes need a safe place to live and food to eat, just like people do. Then they will stay a part of our world. I wonder what kind of snake that one is. Thanks for listening. Hope you learned a lot about snakes.